Good afternoon, everyone. It is 1215 on this now first alert weather day, and this is for this afternoon into the evening hours, given another hour or two, and we're going to be tracking storms moving in across the state of Connecticut. So severe storms are going to be a possibility. A large hail, strong wind gusts. I just got asked on Facebook, is there a tornado threat today? Tornado threat is low, but not zero. All right, outdoor activities certainly will be impacted by these storms wherever they do track. Uh, travel also. There could be some poor drainage flooding. But we're thinking more of the, uh, you know, yes, we'll have locally heavy rainfall. You're going to get a lot of lightning, but it's certainly that hail that could be uh, one inch in diameter or slightly greater than that. That's a big concern and some uh, gusty winds out of this. So in the green, that means, yeah, you have the chance for a strong or severe thunderstorm. The coverage, though, is going to be a little greater, so a higher chance across uh, central and eastern Connecticut into Massachusetts and Rhode Island. And in this zone, there's a 40 percent chance now a watch will be issued as we take a look at what's happening. We are starting to see those uh, thunderstorms blossoming, tracking southeastward. Look at that one across southern uh, New Hampshire, really blossoming, already uh, getting some warnings popping. But we're going to be watching what's coming out of Massachusetts today. So first alert, live radar, the only live radar on the state. So here's Windsor Locks to the north, to the northwest, up through uh, Pittsfield, Mass. This is a little quarter, a little zone developing, and this will continue to stretch south and eastward with time. So those will be moving in. We'll give you that first alert. Start paying attention in the next hour or two. Uh, that's going to be tracking into parts of Hartford and Tallinn counties. As we go through the afternoon and evening hours, look at these storms. Any one of these that develops could quickly turn severe. So that's why we want you to stay weather alert. Even the western part of the state, while the coverage won't be as high, you still run the risk of a severe thunderstorm. There's 6 o'clock. And as we take a look at radar trends beyond 6 o'clock, there's 7. Still some ongoing strong to severe thunderstorms. Sun goes down and the threat pretty much goes away. We're watching the sky conditions closely in stores. We're starting to see those clouds growing vertically. The winds are very light, though, so these are slow moving, and they're putting down a lot of rain in a short period of time, so we will be monitoring for any localized flooding. And you can keep up with any alerts today through the First Alert weather app on your phone. 73 with an onshore flow in Groton. Meanwhile, you go a little bit farther inland. It's 84 in Chester. Let's take a look at the next six hours. So those thunderstorms will be blossoming inland anytime around 2 o'clock. And going through the late afternoon and evening hours, taking a little bit longer to reach maybe the shoreline. But we'll have to just pay attention to the weather from here on out. We'll catch a break, though, tomorrow. So if you're looking to find a day over the next couple to, you know, enjoy. Maybe your kids aren't starting school for a couple more days. Well, Tuesday's your day, but then here we go. Wednesday, we have another first alert for strong to severe storms, localized flooding concerns. So let's talk about Wednesday. New data coming in showing a morning round of rain, so a little damp at the bus stop, and then we'll be monitoring for afternoon thunderstorms that could develop, and yet again, we're under that slight risk the entire state for those severe storms. Once that cold front passes through, it will feel marvelous to end the week, but again, a little stickier over the weekend. Labor Day weekend does fe feature a chance for some showers uh, by the uh, afternoon and evening hours. Sunday looking uh, much better than uh, Saturday at this point in time, but really our focus is on first alert weather day, those storms developing as we speak, and then uh, for Wednesday again, another first alert before it feels fantastic and beautiful weather settles in. We're going to continue to keep you updated on what's happening on radar. I'll be back again in just a few minutes. Irene?